it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys, this is Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video on MAFM V2. So, <clears throat> today, we are going to be starting Harvest, finally. So, the first thing that we're going to do is turn our plant growth up to fast. And then... We will grow our crop. Fast forward time here. Great demand for oats has started. Um, how long? Oops. How long do we have? Six hours remaining. Not sure that we'll be able to capitalize on that or not. Um... Nope, it's over. Okay. Oh well. Hmm, I don't really want to be harvesting at night, but I guess that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. Alright, so, let's fire up the combine. We can delete a bunch of these courses here. Do have auto combine all right so we're gonna start off with the uh, oat field here since this is the only field that we need the draper header for um, so we'll go ahead and do this one first we'll let uh, auto combine run the combine here and then we will run the grain cart and We'll see, you know, how fast the combine fills up and whatnot. If it fills up super fast, then um, we'll put course play on the grain on the semi, and then we can strictly run grain cart. But uh, we'll have to see what happens here. I'm assuming we'll probably end up putting the truck on course play because I'm sure that we're probably going to get some pretty high uh, yields off of this. Dropping the straw. And away we go. We are harvesting some oats. Okay. We can go ahead and uh, take the grain cart over. I think we'll be able to uh, run the semi ourselves. Maybe. Doesn't seem to be filling up too terribly fast with the oats. So we need our truck, which is up here yet. Run down and grab the uh, hopper trailer. Our cows are at 100% productivity. We got 700 liters of milk in the uh, milk tank.
so all is looking well there It's it's filling up, but it's not filling like super duper fast or anything, so we're all good there. See our uh, sorghum field is fully grown over here. Looking good. And if we hop to this, I just dropped the fertilizer spreader here and then just pulled the pickup up there as well and just left it. You can see our sunflower field fully grown as well. All rowed up. So. Alright, time to pull this guy out. Let's go chase that grain cart. Or that combine. <laughs> with the grain cart. The oats don't actually look half bad on here. Oh, he's going to go all the way around. Cool. I suppose that's a small enough space there that the combine doesn't really register it that well. So, I mean, that's perfectly fine by me if he's going to go all the way around. Because, oh, there goes the milk truck. So we just received a little bit of money then. Or will, something like that. Ah, uh, but he does a little wavy thing here oh well I think this season I'd like to get like a little plow and just plow up these waterways um, and just get rid of them in a way but then again I, I want to keep them I just don't know what I want to do with them yet okay so we're gonna have to take him off here See if we can sneak up in here and unload. So then I'm going to take the combine and just back it up. And we're just going to work on that one section. One section at a time. Actually, I need to take a quick pause, so I will be right back. And we're back. I had to take a quick break for lunch here. So yeah, I'm actually recording this here on Saturday. Uh, it is 11.56 right now. I'm recording this before I have to leave for work. I leave for work at 3.45, so this video should be up 15 minutes after that. And then I have to work until 10.30 tonight. Then I go back at 1 o'clock in the morning and work until... Or at 1.30 in the morning and I work until 4.30 in the morning. So uh, there is a school coming. They're having their after prom party at Sky Zone. So, I have to work over that, which is alright. It's more, uh, more money, I guess. Okay, now comes the fun part of trying to turn this around, which actually I'm not even going to do. We're going to go right like this. We're just going to drive along the field. Whoa, and not hit the fence. Okay, maybe we'll drive over the crop just a little bit.
There we go. Just a little. Combine is 23% full already again. Yeah, being, you know, since we're right next to the farm, we can easily just drive the truck ourselves. But when we get to, um, you know, these other fields, then we'll kind of want to put the truck on course play and have it run that way. So that way we can, uh, so that we can focus on chasing after this combine instead of focus on getting to the field and whatnot. Definitely glad to be uh, combining now instead of tillage. guy now Do a little unloading on the go here I get it going then it all messes up again so yeah putting down the straw in here that way we can uh, bale it and we'll have a whole bunch more straw bales and we won't have to do straw bales for a while which maybe I'll just Let's see, what do we got for straw bales? I think we have quite a few. Oh, we have a fair amount. So maybe maybe we'll bale this full front section and then just do the outside edges of that section and then call it good. Then we should have plenty of uh, straw bales to last us for a while. Cart is almost full, and then we can uh, hop over here and unload. full so the oats aren't quite yielding as great as I expected them to but they're still yielding pretty well I think this time around for selling uh, I'll just fast forward time until a great demand comes and then we can folk uh, uh, then we can sell during that and get uh, as much money as we possibly can. Oops, that's the wrong button. Come on. What button is it to discharge again?
Oh, that's right. It's only in the front. X. That's what it was. Kind of an interesting texture. So this time the combine should uh, just continue on this section instead of going all the way around. Second up there, I thought I was going all the way around. And say that's not what I want. Uh-uh. Keep backing up here. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting that I have to be in this thing for a ton load. Can't even see in this tractor. Definitely could use a bigger tractor on here, or for the for this, maybe. But this runs it pretty well, so I am not too worried about it. So our truck is just about half full already. <clears throat> it is rather annoying that, uh, as you can see, it's just showing green where we've harvested. And that's rather annoying, but... Guess what can you do? Maybe what I'll do with these um, waterways is make them bigger just a little bit. Like take the air seeder and run it along here and just enlarge these a little bit. So that way like the combine and stuff won't see it as being small and then want to jump across. Just make them a little bit bigger. That might work. Let's see if we can maneuver around these trees. Now we can't clip that one. This is actually what we'll be doing uh, tomorrow as well on the Dakota Plains series. Uh, we'll be finishing up some spraying and then um, harvesting. So we'll be doing some combining on there as well. Okay, so then once the combine gets on this pass, Right, this will be his final time around. We'll do three headlands, and then uh, we'll set him up and down. Yeah, that is kind of somewhat annoying that it's showing it like that but I suppose you know like there where we have the chop straw it kind of shows through could just be the way that it is too 
Um, let's see, what tractors do we have? We need this guy. We're gonna run this up and go grab the baler. So that way that's ready to rock. Maybe we'll do a little bit of baling since we don't have to constantly be with the combine. Uh, actually what we should do, let's mix up a thing of feed here. We'll take up some feed. I think they could use... Let's just see, what can they use here? They could use a little bit of TMR. Don't need a whole lot, but could use some. So let's go up. Um, do we give them any water? Oh yeah, we did with that thing. So we'll have to go check on that, see how full that is as well. Okay, so I think it's a straw bale, a hay bale, and then a couple buckets of silage is what we did. That's what I'm going to do now at least, so we'll just kind of see how it plays out. Good enough. Okay, so there's our hay. I'll go ahead and grab a bale of straw. I think it was a bale, a bale, and then fill it with silage, and then it's good to go. So we'll just grab this and we'll go hook onto the water trailer, see how much water is left in it, if any at all. <clears throat> I don't know what the deal is with this being like this, but I'm sure there's probably some reason. Huh. I thought this thing, like, if you just set it out in the field, they'd drink it. And I'm pretty sure this map has the water mod on it. Maybe you gotta dump it into this trough here. There we go. I think it's doing what I need it to. I have no idea. Anyhow. We'll just drop that there. Need to go run and unload this guy. Please make it to the end. And he will. Cool. So now we're just going to hit stop. Just like that. I was kind of busy focusing on uh, the other stuff instead of this combine. Does this have a pipe light? No. Okay. So 
zigzag through these trees here. And we'll go get some silage. Right now we're 50-50. So we'll dump some silage in there and get things evened out. And then we can feed it to them. This thing will need fuel before long. So for some reason my joystick is now set up with loaders and before it was just set up for driving so I don't know what happened there. Something happened evidently that made it change. But that's kind of getting annoying to have to reach all the way over with this thing. Be better off just using my mouse. We'll be able to start our combine here now. We'll dump this bucket in and we'll go ahead and do that. How we look in here? Everything looks good, so we're good enough with uh, everything. Whoops, we're kind of pulling the bobcat with us because I forgot to go like this. Whoops. All right. Go uh, dump some feed in for our cows here. We do also need to make some more silage. Because uh, what's our bunker at here? 49,600 yet. So yeah, we will have to make some more silage here fairly soon. Um, but the good thing with that is we have a second bunker. So we can make it and dump it there. So our unload side is right, which sounds good to me. So we'll see how much of this they take. Hopefully all of it. Well, it's looking pretty promising here. Cool. So then that means that we can dump some more hay and some more straw in here. Which is good to know. So we definitely have enough stuff that we can do while the combine goes, which what we should do is jump over here and get this unloading, and we need to change him to up and down, and then we need to get this unloaded. Nice big green area, that's for sure. Definitely got a lot of stuff going on. It's definitely nice to be able to have stuff to do instead of just sitting there in the uh, grain cart and doing nothing. Uh, 
Okay, so we'll just uh, load these hay bales up, and then we'll feed them in the next video. But we'll just get it loaded here. I think two bales will be enough. Maybe we'll see what what it uh, does. That's 32. So maybe we can do like three of them. We'll see. Like I said, we'll just have to uh, see what it looks like as we dump them in. That works, I guess. Grab it on the side here. Um, 64, so yeah, we can dump one more in there, and then we'll, uh, we'll be all set to feed it in the next video, and then we can also feed some straw. I think the combine is going down, yeah. So, really can't do much with unloading it right now. I definitely really like this tractor. I just just wish that its loader was a little bit smoother to operate. But all right, and there we go. So that is all the hay. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. I'm going to get this combine unloaded, and then where he stops is where I'll stop him. I'll get him unloaded, and in the next video we'll just continue from where we are right now. Just the combine will be empty instead. So, that is going to do it. Um, as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.